everybody. Welcome to your team call. It is March 13th, 2018, and we are so excited that you have been able to make it. We have a few uh, messages that we need to get across to you for this month of March. It comes from Beachbody Corporate, and you will want to hear all about these things. Believe me, you will. If, you, um, if I go too fast, don't worry. You can go to Team Beachbody, um, Coach 411 on um, Facebook, and you can see all these dates. They will be there. Okay, so first thing we need to discuss for the March Success Club reward, we are having um, a personal That's development amazing. webcast um, with New York Times bestselling author, John Aka, and he's the author of Finish, Give Yourself the Gift of Done. So um, you can get more information on this by looking at FAQ 8962. You can also earn an exclusive t-shirt for being in Carl's Success Club system, one by three by five club. And if you're not in Carl's group, buy a ticket to Summit for just $155 for this month only, because after this month, it goes up, okay? Next, Success Club party at Summit. You can earn an invite for you and a guest to attend the Success Club party at Coach Summit. This is someplace you'll want to be. Um, and the way you do that is to earn Success Club 5 in both March and April, with a minimum of 20 Success Club points combined over both months. Once again, for more information, you can go to FAQ 3442. Okay, last thing, and once again, if you want more information on this, you can go to um, the coach website, you can go to um, the Facebook page of Team Beachbody Coach 411. The 2B Mindset launches in May. It was created by a registered dietitian and nutritionist, Ilana Mulstein. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but anyway, it's amazing. Um, it's a practical, simple weight loss solution that Ilana herself used to lose 100 pounds after years of obesity and yo-yo dieting. It's designed to help you lose weight um, <clears throat> happily so you can keep it off for good. So no, no deprivation, no counting calories, no exercising until you know, you're know you ready. So get to a Super Saturday and um, an, a Super Saturday event and learn all the details about this exciting new program, okay? And like I said, if you wanna learn more, you can see the video, it's posted on the Team Beachbody Coach 411 website uh, or Facebook page. So you will want to check that out. There's also some other interesting things that you will see on um, that. You'll also be able to see some sneak peeks of what we can expect for Super Saturday, which is coming up soon in April. So with that, I turn the time back over to Shannon. Thank you. And I hope we are all ready and pumped to hear from our speaker today. All right. Yeah, thank you, Meredith. What a way to kick off the call. And welcome, everyone. We are so excited to see everyone here. It looks like we have Lori and Ashley and Laura and Jocelyn and Stacy, Melissa and Kyle and Christopher and your beautiful wife. Uh, welcome, everyone. We are so excited to have you all here tonight. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, please go ahead and post in the comments or raise your hand along the way. Um, we are excited to help you to grow your business and help more people. So we have a couple of announcements in addition to what Meredith said. Um, first of all, Super Saturday is April 7th. So the mm. April Saturdays are all across the United States and Canada and in the UK. Um, if you don't know how to find one in your local area, we will be posting a link, um, but you don't wanna miss Super Saturday. There's just so much positive energy. They have them on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sundays, so you can catch one in your local area and connect with local coaches. Um, the other thing is we have a sneak peek into coaching group that is going on right now. It's going awesome. We have a lot of people in there, a lot of engagement. Um, if you have any people that are potential coaches that you would like to invite, um, then please message me and you're welcome to add them and welcome them into that group. Um, we have a six day fast track to success. Um, program that starts on Thursday. So we are doing this every two weeks. 
Um, if you are a new coach or if you are a coach that is just getting their business going or if you're just not sure what to do, um, these six-day Fast Track to Success groups are there for you to help and mentor your new coaches. So basically we took 90 days worth of training and put it into six days and it puts you on the fast track. So it te teaches you how to meet new people, exactly what to say, how to provide value, how to invite uh, people to the Beach Beachbody Challenge, to coaching, um, how to just basically get everything you need all the tools you need in place to start off the ground running. So that starts on Thursday and we'll announce that in the groups as well. Um, we also on March 19th, if you're not in our Pure Results Fitness group, it's a large group that we run as a team. It has about 1600 people in it and we have a free challenge starting on Monday on March 19th. It's our jump into fitness challenge. It's a five day fitness challenge to people can do any exercise and you can invite people. It's a great transition into the Beach Body Challenge and it's a really fun group. So that starts on Monday the 19th. Okay, awesome. Well, I am really excited to invite uh, Lori Galley. She's our special guest speaker tonight. She's going to be talking about what is working for her on Instagram. Um, so she is amazing and she's going to share some things that are working for her. Um, so take it away, Lori. Go ahead. Hey. Thanks. I had to remember how to unmute it. Hey, you're welcome. No problem. <laughs> um, so hi, everybody. Um, so this is exciting. Um, I think it's kind of funny that Shannon asked me to talk about Instagram because <laughs> that's one of the areas that I feel like I'm kind of new at. Um, the first time I heard a training on a national wake up call about Instagram, um, I listened to the whole call and I got off and I started Insta stories. I just made one up. I really had no idea what I was doing. I just jumped right in. And um, so I, I do have a lot of fun with Insta stories. I've been able to come up with a few apps that um, I found out from talking with Ashley. Um, they're only iOS apps, so they, they don't go over to Android, but I, I'm sure Android would have some that go with it uh, or, or like that. But um, I'm going to look at my um, Instagram on my phone. And um, so some of the apps that I use to jazz up my stories, um, Pick Play Post, um, I actually used that today and put a, a post in Pure Results Fitness on my workout today, and it was like kind of like a slideshow. Um, it had still pictures as well as a moving video. And um, uh, you can add music um, if you're willing to pay for it, which right now I'm not, so mine didn't have the fun music, but um, that's one. So that's called Pick Play Post, P-I-C, Play Post, all one, all one word. I really like another app called Ripple. It's R-I-P-L. Um, that one also, same kind of thing. You can animate things and all kinds of different text and, and things like that. Um, I use that a lot. Uh, recently, I started using um, Hype Type. Okay, so that's H Y P E Type T Y P E, and um, that one's cool because um, you can add music to it, and it doesn't cost anything extra. It's a free app, um, and um, um, I'm drawing a blank at the, on the difference between that one and the other one. There's also one called Hyperlapse, which is um, H-Y-P-E-R-L-A-P-S-E. If I'm going too fast, you guys, just slow me down. Um, hyperlapse is cool because you can take a really long video, and it'll shorten it up into 15 seconds for um, Insta Stories. And so you're moving in fast motion. That's kind of fun. Um, so, um, but then what if you have a really long video and you only want to put, um, you want to put it in, in a, like a long video, break it up into 15 segment, segments, 15 second segments, and put them in in order. There's a, a, an app for that called Storio. So that's S-T-O-R-E-O. -E and that'll take a longer video and break it up into smaller segments and then you can post them simultaneously, um, one right after the other, and so it'll play um, 
in in Insta Stories, all you know, the whole thing. So it's longer then you can normally, um, normally you can only get 15 seconds in there, right? So these are some of the apps that I've found that, that jazz up stories. And I have, I have fun with it. I just, um, I throw stuff in there. If you look at my Insta stories, some, some days I do better than others, but um, feel free to check them out and see. Um, one of the top coaches that I've tried to kind of mimic in this way um, is uh, Jatana Jackson. She did a lot of Insta story um, training and um, so I just sort of look at what she does and try to, to copy it, but be me, you know, not because she's very different than I am, way younger for one. <laughs> um, and and um, Shannon only told me I had one or two minutes, so that might be all you want to get for tonight maybe, but um, let me know, Shannon. Um, That's great. Uh, Lori, um, do you want to add anything about um, how you're having conversations with people from the stories? Sure. Um, so it's it's interesting how sometimes um people that i don't even know like i know who they are but i don't know they're watching me will watch my insta stories um and so once they um once i can tell they're watching like you can see on insta stories there's insights and you can see who's actually watching them you can tell if they swiped through it or if they actually played through it and so once someone watches it, even if I see they just watched it, but they didn't make any comments or anything, then I'll um, send them a, a message, like a DM, and just thank them for watching my stories. And before that, I'll look at what they've done, especially if they have stories, and then try to comment or compliment them uh, on their stories and see if I can get a conversation going. Um, and a lot of times it's the same people that watch mine. I don't have a lot, of, like I don't have hundreds of people following me, so um, I tend to get the same kind of people watching them, and, I, and I've noticed that they're very faithful. If I kind of drop off a little bit and I don't post as much, as soon as I'm back on, they're right back on watching. And um, so, and then sometimes they'll make comments about different things, and then I can actually start a conversation with them and, and try to get it over into health and fitness. Awesome. Well, thanks, Lori. That was great. Great job. Let's give her a round of, a round of applause. Yeah, thanks, great job. Everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Well, I am so excited for our topic tonight. Um, Bob is in a big snowstorm, so he's sad he's not able to connect tonight. Um, but we are excited about this topic. Um, so if you've been following along, uh, we are getting to the end of this 90 Days to Excellence program. Uh, we do it every 90 days. And tonight we're gonna talk about how to give ourselves a pay raise. So um, I used to work in a corporate job. I used to work a 95 job. I was a public relations director. And I absolutely loved it, um, but I would get, you know, maybe $1 an hour a year raise, right? Like that's pretty typical. Like you usually get like a, maybe a small raise per year and you can gradually grow in your career, right? Um, so that's how I was. And when I started doing Beachbody, I was excited because we can determine our own income. Like there's no one, we don't have a boss, we don't have anyone telling us like, this is what you get paid. Like, you know, hey Meredith, here's your pay, here's your salary. Like we determine what we, we get paid. And I thought that was really exciting because um, you know, it's just based off our own efforts. Cause I know when I was working before in other jobs, I would, you know, work and work and work and it didn't really matter if I worked harder, if I worked, you know, whatever I worked, I just, this is how much you get paid. So as coaches, um, we can decide what we want to be paid. And, you know, this business is different. I've had this conversation with people, um, but it's different than a job, you know? So like a job, you go in for the job and they say, okay, you know, Betty, here's your salary. This is what you're going to get paid. And this is what you will earn. A business will start out less than a job. So like you could get a job and earn way more on your first day than on your first day of Beachbody. Um, but over time, you can earn a lot more with Beachbody 
um, over time in a business than you can in a job. And so, but it takes time and effort and, you know, diligence to grow it. Um, a lot of times um, I've heard personal development people say, you know, you're working um, part, you're working part time to turn your part time thing into a full time thing. And then when the full time thing replace or when the part time thing replaces your full time, then that can be your full time. And so that's a really good way of putting it. Um, so how do we raise our income? You know, what are the things that we can do to raise our income? And so that's what I want to talk about tonight. Um, because there's a lot of things um, that we can do as coaches. And I've been doing this for six years. So I've, you know, I've gotten in traps myself or I've coached people that have said, you know, I'm working so much. I'm not getting paid very much. Um, so we've got to cut out the fluff and we've got to focus on the things that are going to grow our income so that we can get that pay raise because, you know, we all have goals. And for me in my business, I've, you know, really focused on income goals over rank goals. Um, Bob's really like that too. That's why I've learned a lot from him. And so, um, you know, so this is a good way to grow your income. If you want to grow your rank, you can do things as well. Um, but I'm going to mostly talk about growing your income. So I hope that's okay. Um, okay. So the, the most important thing we do as coaches, um, you know, we're, I think a lot of us here on this call, if you're on this call, you've probably um, done a beach body workout program. Raise a hand. Who's done a beach body workout? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Who's uh, had Shakeology? Or who has it regularly? Yeah. Okay. Um, who um, listens or reads personal development? Um, really good on working on our mindset. Yeah. Okay. So I think those things are pretty, you know, easy to do. We kind of, uh, once we overcome some challenges, like, you know, I've had a baby during being a coach and it was kind of hard, like going through the recovery and getting back. You know, we all have our challenges of getting back into a routine of exercising. But once we do it, we're like, okay, I'm awesome. I can do this. I'm working out. I'm getting results. I'm loving our results. Um, but what, what I've noticed from watching and mentoring coaches is the hard part is the inviting part. And so we're going to talk about that tonight because the part that grows our business, the key part is that invite. And so I'm going to talk about five different ways that we can invite every single day. Um, and this could take you 30 minutes. This could take you an hour. This could take you two hours. It just depends how quick you are. But the more you do it, the faster you get. And this is the heart of it. So, you know, like that we can do all this fancy marketing stuff. We can, you know, do all these things. But the heart of growing our business is going to be these conversations, okay? And I just got off a call earlier today with my corporate mentor, and there was like this super energetic coach. Her name was Julianne Candia, I think her last name, that's how you spell it. Um, but she talked about 12 ways to get unstuck. And so I'm going to share a couple of those things as well, um, if you're stuck, feeling stuck in your business. And one thing she shared that really goes along with this topic tonight is, um, so we've talked about uh, compliment and ask a question to people before, but she went in a little bit deeper and this goes with our invite. So she said, first we connect, we connect with people. And the way we wanna get conversations is we've gotta connect with people. And so we can't just go to someone, we can't go to Meredith and be like, you know, hey Meredith, you know, just like a random thing like, how is your uh, kids, I don't know, like whatever, like just something super random, like we've got to connect with them. So we've got to look through their social media or we've got to learn more about them in person and really connect with them. Because if we don't connect with them, if they feel like we're just randomly, you know, you get all those messages, right? Like, hey, buy this from me, join this group. Like People can feel it if it's not genuine and we're not connecting. So I thought that was really good. Like number one is truly connect with people. Before you send any message, you've got to learn about them. So go on their social media page or if you're talking to them in person, find ways to connect. So, you know, for example, like a general one would be like, you know, hey, Meredith, how's it going? Like that would be kind of like really vague, not really connecting as much. I mean, it's still kind of, but not as much as if I said, you know, hey, Meredith, 
um, you know, your son's birthday party looked so much fun. You know, where did you find that cake? Like she is proud of her son's birthday party. She is excited about her son turning whatever age, you know, like she's going to be more excited to respond about that. You know, so you think about like, what do people care about? And then you're going to connect. So number one is connect. And then you're going to compliment after you connect. So compliment, connect, I mean, connect, compliment, and then comment. So continue the conversation. You're going to comment more about it and then ask a question. So I thought that was a really good way to set up a way to connect with someone just so it's more, you know, like we're not just coming out of the blue, like sending mass messages as quick as we can. We're thinking about it a little bit more. And I can definitely say, you know, that while it's quality over quantity, like if you have 50 followers on fa on Instagram or Facebook that are, you're interacting, you know them, you're connecting with them. That's way better than having like 5,000 people that aren't doing anything and you're getting no likes and comments. You want to have engagement. You want to have connection with people because this business does not take a lot of people to earn a good income. I think that's really important as well. Um, you only need a few really good people to grow a good income. Bob always talks about your top five. So if you find five really amazing people who have big goals, who are going to do what you do, um, you know, he said, if you have five people who get to five star diamond, then that's when he hit the millionaire status, which is pretty awesome. So you're going to, you know, you're going to talk to a lot of people, but then you're going to go deep with a few people. I think that's really important as well, because if you're trying to talk to, you know, trying to get close to all these people, you've got to be selective. We've got to be really close connection with a few people and then keep it broad. Okay. So how, how are we going to grow our income? Well, we are going to be really, really focused and intentional on our time when we are doing the business. Um, so when we're doing our business, I recommend um, these five things, okay? So number one is you're gonna connect with new friends. So you're gonna expand your network, right? So whether you're doing it in person or on social media, like for me, I do it on Facebook and Instagram and in person. Um, and when you're connecting with new people, You've got to be at your best. This is something that I used to do really well when I first started, and then I kind of laxed, and now I'm like, okay, i got to get on top of my game again. Um, my friend and I, this is kind of a funny story, my friend and I, when we were in Arizona, we used to get all ready, bring our kids, like, we were all ready to go. We were like, what if we meet someone today? <laughs> you know, like, we've got to be ready, just in case we meet someone. So, you know, putting our best foot forward, like, on social media or in person, like you, if you're meeting people and you're like, you know, how are you? Oh, I'm so tired. Like, man, it's the worst day. You know, like no one's going to want you. And then you're like, yeah, do you want to join my awesome fitness challenge? So like, you don't seem very <laughs> energetic. Like, you, you know, you've got to be walking the walk. You got to be working out. You got to be eating healthy. You got to be happy and positive. And then you, you will be like a magnet attracting people to you. And so that's number one is you're going to, you know, be your best self and meet new people every single day. Um, and if you do at least, you know, two to three minimum every single day, um, you know, you want to set a pace. We talked about this before. You want to set a pace that you can do long term. I've seen coaches burn out. You know, they're like, I'm going to do 50 a day. And I've even done this before. I'm going to do 50, you know, and then and unless you have like several hours to do that, that's great if you can maintain that pace. But if you can't like set a good pace, like two to three is a good, solid pace. And if you're like, okay, I'm rocking two to three a day, then add more, get up to five a day, you know, but set a solid pace that you can go. So number two is you're going to invite them to, um, so we have this awesome free fitness group and we've, as a team, we've combined our efforts. You're welcome to join in. Um, it's been really fun. If you're not a part of it, let me know. You can join. It's called Pure Results Fitness. You can actually even look it up on Facebook, just Pure Results Fitness, um, where we run free challenges every two weeks. So in that group, we are adding new people in our free challenge. We're providing value. Um, someone once said, this is like warming up your leads. 
okay? So if you, there's lots of different ways of talking about this. Like, So it's like dating people, you know, like courting them. Like if you went up to someone and said, hey, do you want to marry me? And you just met them, they would be like, ah, running away. You know, it's the same thing with this. Like if people don't know you, if they don't really trust you, they're going to put up their wall, they're going to put up their guard. But if you invite them to something first, like if you invite them to lunch, if you invite them on a date, if you invite them to coffee, if you invite them to this free group first, then they will know, like, and trust you better. So this free, this resource is available to you. Uh, if you would like, we post before and after pictures, we post recipes, we post fitness tips. Like it's really fun, positive, motivating group. So that's number two, um, is you want to invite them to something to provide value. Um, another thing would be like a fit club or like if you're doing like a shake and share in person, but you can do something that's providing value that's kind of like you say, warming up your person, or I've even heard of microwaving your person, um, but just helping them to kind of get to know you, get to like you, get to trust you, and want to move on to the next level. Um, just as far as doing this, you know, long term, I've had like far, my, my rate of saying yes is like way higher, inviting them to something first before the buying something. Um, so it's just a good next step. So you're going to be your best self and you're going to connect with at least two to three new people a day. Then you're going to invite them to something to provide value. We recommend Pure Results Fitness. The next level you're going, so then while they're in that free group, it's only five days, the challenges, you're going to learn about them. So you're going to learn about their struggles. This is key. Once you know their struggles, then you can give them a solution to their problem. If you're, if you're just kind of surface, like, hey, how's it going? You know, what's, what's new, da 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 kind of small talk, they won't usually move forward. But if you're connecting with someone and I'm like, you know, hey, Ashley, how's it going this week? What is a struggle that you are working on? And she's like, man, I'm really struggling with nutrition. I'm like, you know what? I would love to help you with your nutrition. Let's go into my coaching program over here and I'll give you these portion control containers, my, new, my meal plans. You'll have me as your coach keeping you accountable. It's just a really smooth transition once I know their struggle. So I think that's a crucial element is to learn their struggle, learn their pain points because people don't care about what you sell. They don't care how cool it is. They don't care about anything. They care about how it's going to help them and how it's going to solve their problem. So when you know their struggle and you can solve their problem and they know that you are the one to help them, they'll be like, yes, let's move on to the next level. Okay. So then you're going to invite them after, you know, getting to know them, learning about their struggle and that free challenge. And even so right now we're on an off week, actually tomorrow we're going to give away a prize. Every two weeks we give away a prize. Ashley is going to help me with this. Um, and we're going to say, you know, why would you want to get this prize? We're going to have a voting. It's going to be really fun. Um, so during the off week, you can also say, you know, Hey, what's something that I can keep you accountable with this week? So, you know, do you want to start drinking water? Do you want to do this? I give people one to two weeks that I'm going to help them for free. After that, then I'm going to invite them to work with me buying a beach body program. They can still be in the free group. There's tons of people still in there, but I'm not going to give them all of my focused attention. I'm going to focus on meeting new people, focus on the new people and then move them along. Um, so then the next level, level three is the beach body challenge. Okay. So once we know their struggle, we understand where they're at. We know we can solve their problem. We're going to invite them to the beach body challenge. So for example, like I said, you know, um, hey Ashley, it's been so awesome having you in this whatever challenge, our jump into fitness challenge. You're doing amazing on your workouts. I know you said you struggled with your sweet tooth, you know, that sweet tooth, I totally understand. That's a really hard point. Um, have you considered joining our, so right now we have our get slim for spring challenge. Have you considered joining that challenge? to help you with your sweet tooth and work with me as your coach, you know? So I said, you know, thank you for joining, gave a compliment, talked about her struggle, just super small. You don't want your invites longer than one to three sentences. I've seen people do invites that they're like huge long paragraphs, like, you know, like giving them so much information and then no one responds. People will not respond if it's super, super long, okay? So just you want, 
our goal is to get people to respond. Our goal is not to give them all the information. So remember that. Our goal is to get them to respond. Um, every time you send a message, people are busy. So you want to send a quick one-liner, you know. What's your struggle this week? How can I help? What, you know, what can I keep you accountable with? Just bam, bam, bam. They'll communicate with you better if it's short, to the point, focused. Um, okay, so then you're inviting them to the Beach Body Challenge. Or you can also go straight from the free to coaching, the either one. You can go, so you can go from the Beach Body Challenge to coaching, or you can go from the free challenge to coaching. I've done both ways, so I'm going to share both ways. So, um, Beach Body Challenge. Wow, you are doing fantastic. Um, this was when I would get them on the phone too. So I would get someone on the phone. They've been in my beach by challenge for two weeks. Hey, you know, Amy, oh my gosh, you are doing amazing. You already lost five pounds. How do you like the workout so far? Oh my gosh, I love the workouts. They're so fun. I can do it at home and da 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 da. I'm like, oh, that's great. Awesome. I loved, you know, seeing you get results. And, and I'm like, you know, how do you like Shakeology? Oh, it's really helping me with my sweet tooth. That's another thing you want to ask people how they're doing on their performance line, how they're doing on Shakeology, um, because you want them to tell you, like, if there's any, if they're doing awesome, awesome. But if there's any concerns, you can resolve them before they cancel, if they cancel, right? So if they're like, oh, man, it's really uh, too thin, then you can say, how are you making it? And I'll say, you know, hey, you might want to add, like, a frozen banana, add some ice, thicken it up, and they're like, oh, this is way better, you know? So resolving their concern, like you want to find out that first 30 days when someone orders is like your golden period. Sometimes people like order from a coach and then they never talk to their person. It's like, ah, no, that is like their golden period because if they get results or if they are, you know, um, loving Shakeology, you want to upgrade them to become a coach or you just want to keep them going, right? You want to keep them continuing to create a lifestyle change. and so. I would say, you know, hey, Amy, you are doing amazing. You're, you've lost five pounds. Um, you know, that's awesome. You love Shakeology. Have you considered doing what I do? So that was Janelle Summers' line. Have you considered doing what I do as a coach to get your Shakeology paid for for next month? So I'd start out small. I wouldn't say, hey, have you considered earning a million dollars? Like, you want to start out small, right? You want to say, hey, have you considered doing what I do so you can get yours paid for. And then they would say, hmm, yes or no, you know. Uh, we do a sneak peek into coaching every two weeks, so you always have something to invite them to. And I would have the phone call around the next sneak peek group, okay? So then, um, so that's a great way, if they're already in the challenge, if they're already using it, then they can just upgrade, they can pay the registration fee and get it reimbursed and become a coach. The other way is if they're in the free challenge, a lot of people are in the free challenge, they're like posting quotes, they're posting motivation, they're cheering people on, they're like acting like a coach already. So people like that, I would say, you know, hey, uh, Jill, you are so motivating. Wow, you are doing exactly what I do already. Have you considered being a coach? And then they'd be like, oh, I've never, I've never really considered it, or maybe, or you know, whatever they say, and you're like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. So compliment them, giving them confidence, giving them belief that you can absolutely, you're already doing what I do, you might as well do it and get paid for it. Another, like another segment, segue, join my sneak peek over here, okay? Um, so that's, so that's a four ways, right? So we're gonna be our best selves and we're going to meet new people every day, at least two to three. We're going to invite, so we met those people, the next day you can invite them to the free challenge. So those. The first day you, you meet them, let's talk about that segment. So you're going to meet them, and then the next day you can say, you know, hey, Sue, it was great talking to you. Um, you know, I talk to a lot of people about their health and fitness goals, you know, because we do. Um, I have this awesome free challenge. Would you like to join? You know, we're doing uh, jumping jacks or we're doing uh, eating healthy or whatever. Do you want to join? You know, the worst cases they say no, the best cases they're like, yes, absolutely. Um, so we're gonna invite people to our free challenge every day. We're going to invite the people from the free challenge into the beach body challenge. So once in a while, I will invite people that are not in the free challenge in the beach body challenge. But from my experience the last six years, most people say no automatically if I ask them to buy something and they have not 
like gotten to know me. Like if I just talk to them one time and they're like, yes, I need help losing 30 pounds. And I'm like, awesome. Okay. You can buy my fitness program. Da, 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 da. Then they're like, ah, no, see you later. But if I add them to the free challenge, they'll get to know me. They might say no still, but at least they're getting to know me. And then later they might join a little bit later. So that works really good. So we're going to invite them, the free challenge people into the beach body challenge, and then invite people to become a coach. And then the last number five is following up with people every single day. So inviting is crucial, right? So four of these steps are inviting, inviting to get to know, inviting a new person to be a friend, inviting someone to a free challenge, inviting someone to a beach body challenge, inviting someone to be a, a coach. Those four things are crucial, but a lot of times people won't do those four things right away. So we've got to follow up with them. Okay. So the last thing is follow up, follow up, follow up. So I have this little, this is what I do. I just have this little pink book on one page has the invites on the back page has the follow ups. Just like keep it super simple. I mean, there's so many different ways to keep track of your contacts, but do what works best for you and do something that's just really super basic and simple. Um, so that's it. That's, um, the five steps and then we're going to wrap it up. Um, does anyone have any questions about that, about that whole process or anything they want to add? Ashley. All right. I think for me, as with maybe a whole lot of you and you can raise your hand if you feel the same way. And that is I can connect with people and i can talk to people and ask them questions all day long but it's the tr going from asking them questions to inviting them to pure result fitness so sometimes it takes like a month maybe five weeks to get to that point where i can ask them if they want to be in pure results fitness is that normal I would cut it seriously cut it down to one to five days max like you got to get it shorter because the other thing is like if you're just talking to people around like they won't know you have a business they won't know that you're gonna be there to help them they'll just think you're just being nice and you're just wanting to talk to them so you got to get to the point um, so like I say you know have a couple of conversations the next day hey it was so awesome talking to you um, I have this awesome fitness challenge you could even say, I don't even know if you're interested, but you know, if you're connecting with them on Instagram, they're seeing you post about your workouts and things like that. Mm -hmm. They won't be surprised, especially if they're watching your stories, like what Lori talked about. If people are watching my story, they're seeing you work out. They're seeing you're doing fitness. Um, another thing I do is I take um, a video of the free challenge group. And so I video, I'm like, our free challenge is amazing. You know, I would do that too. Like, look at all these posts, look at all these people. This is so fun. You totally want to join then on the next slide. Do you want to join? Yes or no. And I get a lot of people that way too. Um, so yeah, but I, I would just, just jump right in. Like I wouldn't feel like you have to wait a long time. So, okay. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Janet? Yeah, go ahead. This is Dusty. Um, I just, I was a little bit late to the call tonight with us because I was on a corporate call and I have to share this story because it goes with yes. kind of what Ashley, with what Ashley just said. And because I'm another one, I'm afraid to invite because I'm afraid of the judgment. And um, the story that was told was, I didn't catch her name because I was like trying to bounce through the conversation, but she said that she worked for corporate before she, for a corporation, whatever before she got into Beachbody. And um, when she got into Beachbody, she kept talking to all these coaches, you know, because she works with corporate. And they kept saying that they weren't inviting because um, they felt icky. They just didn't think that the people would want it. And she was like, this is so weird. And she's like, I wonder if I have ever, if I have any friends who, um, who work with Beachbody. And so, Cause she's like, she didn't hear about the coaching opportunity until she was working with corporate. And, um, so she went through her Facebook and one by one just started asking her friends, you know, if they knew anything about beach body, blah, blah, blah. And she came upon a friend, um, that was a beach body coach. And she sent her a message and said, Hey, um, how come you never invited me into the coaching opportunity with beach body? You're a coach, right? And she's like, yeah. And, and the girl said, why would I? 
And she was like, what do you mean? Why, why would you? And she goes, why would I invite you? You are always posting that you're having fun, that you're traveling. Um, you look great. So why would you need to work out? You don't have a transformation. And then she said, and you're always traveling. So you obviously don't need the money. And the person doing the presentation to us said, I was kind of ticked. I was like, how dare you? How dare you make that assumption for me? And she goes, she wanted to remind us, don't make an assumption that somebody doesn't need what we have to offer. Because she goes, I'm not going to post on Facebook that I have an eating disorder. I'm not going to post on Facebook that I go home and cry after my corporate job every night. I'm not going to post on Facebook um, that I have issues making the right foods and all of this. She's like, what we see on Facebook is this glamour shot. And she goes, so make sure you are not making a decision for somebody, that you give them that opportunity to say yes or no, but don't make it for them. Don't be afraid to ask because you don't know what their real life behind the scenes is really needing. So I thought that was interesting. Awesome. I love that, Dusty. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've... I heard that um, a while ago, and that's a good thing to bring up because we haven't talked about it for a long time, but I think that's really important. Um, you know, what if no one asked Bob? I mean, I love his story. Um, he was a lawyer. He was successful. Like, he, um, you know, had an incredible career. He had, you know, what everyone wants to have, right? Um, and someone was brave enough to ask him. He lost 70 pounds and he became a millionaire in Beachbody. He's one of the top coaches in Beachbody. I mean, how amazing, like someone was, if someone was scared to ask him, um, you know, so, and just think about like, what if someone was scared to ask you, like how your life would be different if no one asked us, I know my life would be a lot different and it's changed so much for the better. Um, so thank you so much, Dusty. I love that comment. Um, and you know, a lot of times people are just waiting for someone to reach out and help them. Some, like Dusty said, a lot of people don't know what people are going through. Um, we put our best out on social media. A lot of people don't know the behind the scenes. And when we reach out and we're that person that has reached out and lifted up and invited someone to something that is incredible, then we never know how big of an impact we can make. So I think that's awesome. Does anyone else have anything they want to share? Oh, go ahead, Lori. Yeah, go ahead. So um, thinking about what Ashley just said, and, and it is, it does get really hard sometimes to make that transition into um, talking about coaching or beach body or working out. But, um, and in my particular case, I try to reach out to parents of medically complex kids because that's who I am. And so this might qu not quite apply depending on who your person would be, but um, maybe this will help somebody. Um, so if I'm talking to them and I'm asking them lots of questions about their child, of course, I'm gonna ask them about their child and the things that they deal with with their own child. And everybody wants to talk about their kids, whether they're medically issues or not. Um, but then as I, as I am talking to them, one of the questions I try to get to as soon as possible is, so what are you doing to take care of yourself? Because of course they're spending all of their energy, everything taking care of this child. And I know how draining that can be. I mean, like I've been up since 3.30 this morning, not because I wanted to, but because that's when my child needed me and I wasn't really able to go back to sleep. So um, what are you doing to take care of yourself? And then, you know, in my case, a lot of times they're doing nothing or, you know, barely surviving. And so then I'm able to take it to, you know, I know exactly how you feel. This is what, I, you know, how I used to be. And this is what I'm doing to take care of myself and, and then, you know, move it in. And it doesn't have to take, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks. I can kind of get into it more quickly because, you know, I'm, I'm showing concern about them and their own welfare and, and how they're, because if, if they don't take care of themselves, they're not going to be there to take care of their kids. And in, in our case, our kids need us a lot. I mean, everybody, every kid needs their parent, but, you know, some of them are a little more needy than others um, in different ways. So anyway, that's what I was thinking of when Ashley shared that, because I definitely have, Ashley definitely dealt with the same kind of thing. 
Yeah, thank you so much, Lori. I love that. That's a great question. You want to write that down. You know, what are you doing to take care of yourself? I think that can be applied to a lot of things, you know, people in careers, um, people who have busy schedules, like, you know, just so many different ways. That's a great question to ask because everyone puts themselves last and they think they're being selfless, but in the end, then we can't take care of everyone as best as we can. Awesome. This has been an amazing call. Um, does anyone else have anything to add or any other questions? Okay, Meredith, go ahead. My big thing was, I was always like one of the reasons, one of the things that I had held me back from inviting people to the coaching opportunity is, you know, and it's been pointed out to me a couple of times and I've kind of just learned to overcome that. I'm still going there at least is, you know, I'm not as successful as I want to be yet. So it's like, who am I to say, Hey, yeah, this, this coaching thing is so amazing and you can earn money. And then you're like, Oh, well, how, you know, you kind of fear somebody asking you that question. Well, okay, well, what have you done? And you, you're afraid of coming off saying, well, actually I've, I've done this. I've only done that, but it's almost kind of like we have to approach it kind of like with our weight loss journeys, you know, or our health journeys where, okay, yeah, maybe we aren't ripped like, well, Bob is now, but, you know, I've seen pictures of Bob when he first started and whoa, yeah, as ripped as he is now, he was swinging all the way on the other side of the pendulum. And it's the same thing for us. You know, we're, we are becoming that person. And for me, uh, like when it comes to overcoming that whole, oh, you know, I'm not as, you have to believe and you got to know that you are a successful person. You are a successful coach because every day you're showing up and you're doing the business. You are working your, you're working your business. And just like with your fitness, you're working your fitness and you're, you're becoming that person you need to be so that you can inspire all those people and you are inspiring people. So how, who's to say that you can inspire them and help them further, you know, financially as well as just physically. So, you know, don't, don't pre-qualify other people, but don't pre-qualify yourself too from what this business can offer you and make, you know, it is an amazing business. We know it works. And honestly speaking, there is really no reason that it can't become even more than it has than it is right now for all of us to even our wildest dreams, whatever your wildest dream may be, you know, whether it's just to earn another $500 every month or to be like Bob or to surpass Bob. I don't know. But you know, if that's your deal, then that's your deal. But it is, you are a successful coach and don't, don't not invite anybody just because you're not Bob or you're not Shannon or you're not whoever coach you follow on Instagram who's got 25,000 followers and a team of whatever. You're, go, you're getting there. Just you're trying to find the people who want to get there too. So yeah, that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Meredith. I think that's a really important point. Um, you know, our belief in ourself is what will make or break the business. Our belief in ourselves, our belief in the products, our belief in the business. A lot of times it's easy to believe in the workouts. You know, we work out, we get results, um, but it's the same thing. You know, we pick up that workout, we start, we know that workout's going to work, and in the end of 21, 90, whatever days, we're going to get results. It's the same thing with the business. If we put that same effort that we put into the workouts into the business, we will get results. And it won't take, we won't, we won't get a six pack in the first week or in the first month. It will take time, just like a workout. But the same thing with ourselves, you know, like Meredith said, have belief in ourselves. A lot of people are not even working out. A lot of people are sitting on the couch. A lot of people are not happy. A lot of people are not really living life. They're watching TV, they are letting life pass by without living. We are one, you know, we are leaders because we are out there living. We are walking the walk. And the only thing you need to have to help anyone is to walk the walk, invite anyone else to follow. So that's what we're doing. Well, this was an amazing call. You guys are incredible. And we're going to take a picture really quick. So um, if you can, um, pull out your beautiful smiles. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, we'll do it one more time to make sure we... Got everyone?
Okay, oh wait, one second. There we go, okay. Ready, and one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. Have a fantastic night, everyone. We will see you next week. See you later, bye-bye. Right. Thanks a lot. Thank you, bye-bye.